Good morning, Bernard. How are you today? Good morning, Dr. Priscilla. The weather will be good today. It's a good day for me. Fantastic. Do you have any plans for today? I had a plan to go to the restaurant at noon with a group of retired friends from my old company. Okay. From my, from my former company. Have you seen them in a while? When was the last time you saw some of your old friends? Oh, I, I never, I never see them. Uh, the company organized every day, every beginning of the year, mm -hmm. some, some meals in different places okay. where you can find and, uh, and uh, meet people that you don't see for a long time, sometimes uh -huh. sometime many years. Mm, I bet, I bet it's almost like a class reunion. They will have changed so much. <laughs> okay. Oh yes. All right. Well, let's start our lesson today. It is from Heads Up English. This is an advanced class. I'd like for you to pay attention to the words in red. But before we read, let's see how many of these words you already know the meaning and understand. If you'll just pronounce the words, if you don't know what they mean, we'll talk about them. Start, Ailment. with, start with ailments. Ailments. Uh, I suppose ailments means many problems. Mm -hmm. Good. Extrapolated. Uh, extrapolated were related were extracted, were calculated. Very good. Okay. What you could expect or you can assume. Mm -hmm. uh, an immense squirrel, um, a huge squirrel. Scale. 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 Huge. Yes. Huge. Large. Mm -hmm. Afflicted. Uh, who suffer, individual who suffer with cancer, markedly, uh, it's noted for, it is believed, it is, mm -hmm. something that is, you can just Put a check mark beside it and say, I know this is true, or I know this is not true. It's something that is unmistakably unmistaken. Okay. Okay. Uh, mimicking. Mimicking. Uh, recreate the eating habits. Right. To imitate, to, re to repeat. Frequenters of vagrants. Uh, frequenters going to the same place. Very good. Often. often. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, who abstained. Abstained. Abstain. Who, who refuse. Very who good. Refuse to do without. Mm -hmm. Past study irrefutably without discussion it's it's sure very good it's undeniable yeah. undeniable undeniable mm -hmm. proportion parts parts of mm -hmm. a certain amount quantity quantity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay very good Let's start our article now. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I'm going to try to read and understand. Okay. O obesity and cancer are linked. Obesity causes numerous ailments from heart disease to diabetes to cancer. In fact, the American Institute for Cancer Research estimates that in excess of 100,000 cases of cancer occur early in the U.S. because of obesity. 
This statement comes from evidence extrapolated from the national number of cancer cases. From the annual number of cancer cases. Mm -hmm. It's the first evidence that demonstrates the link between cancer and obesity on such an immense scale. 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 Yeah. Scale. Furthermore, it has already been realized that obesity markedly shortens the survival rate of individuals affected with cancer. Okay, that survival rate of individuals afflicted with cancer. Leaner and healthier lifestyles are key to reducing cancer risks. Okay. It should come as a no surprise that obesity oftentimes starts at a young age with children observing and mimicking the eating habits of their parents. It mum and dad are frequenters of fast food joints. It sends a clear signal that hamburgers, fries, and jumbo sizes soft drinks a reasonable diet choice. Okay, this word really should be if, but it says it, but it should be if mom and dad are frequenters. Okay. Okay. New evidence indicates that the origin of weight problems later in life can be subtle that cheese, cheeseburgers and the like. Sub, subtler, subtler. Suppler. Mm -hmm. Suppler. If kids drink two or more sweetened drinks daily as early as five years old age of age, they then they ten, tend to weigh more and have higher contents of body that and have higher contents of body fat than kids who abstain from sweetening drinks. Okay. Sweetened, sweetened. Rings. In addition, past study irrefutably indicate that overweight tends have a greater likelihood of becoming obese as adults, leading to health problems like cancer. In short, more than a passing concern, Oh, in short, obesity is more than a passing concern. It's reaching epidemic proportions with the disease starting as young as child, childhood. Clearly, sometimes must be done. Something so, must be done. Something. something must be done. Okay, let me read this. Obesity and cancer linked. Obesity causes numerous ailments from heart disease to diabetes to cancer. In fact, the American Institute for Cancer Research estimates that in excess of 100,000 cases of cancer occur yearly in the U.S. because of obesity. This statement comes from evidence extrapolated from the annual number of cancer cases. It is the first evidence that demonstrates the link between cancer and obesity on such an immense scale. Furthermore, it has already been realized that obesity markedly shortens the survival rate of individuals afflicted with cancer. Leaner and healthier lifestyles are key to reducing cancer risks. It should come as no surprise that obesity oftentimes starts at a young age with children observing and mimicking the eating habits of their parents. If mom and dad are frequenters of fast food joints, it sends a clear signal that hamburgers, fries, and jumbo-sized soft drinks are a reasonable diet choice. New evidence indicates that the origin of weight problems later in life can be subtler than cheeseburgers and the like. If kids drink two more sweetened drinks daily as early as five years of age, then they tend to weigh more and have higher contents of body fat than kids who abstain from sweetened drinks. In addition, past studies 
irrefutably indicate that overweight teens have a greater likelihood of becoming obese as adults, leading to health problems like cancer. In short, obesity is more than a passing concern. It is reaching epidemic proportions with the disease starting as young as childhood. Clearly, something must be done. So there, we both read the article and what does obesity mean? We've done that when we went through earlier. Um, so let's talk about obesity. Why do you think people are obese and what would you recommend that we do to correct this problem of obesity, Bernard? Obesity is a problem of bad, uh, of bad food, bad eating habits, and uh, it's also a big problem, I suppose, in the USA. I remember that was something who shocked me when I was in New York. Mm -hmm. the, the number of obese people in the street in the obese the, obese obese people in the in the street or in the bus. Mm -hmm. in France, we have the same problem, but not so intense. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the newspaper, most of the magazines try to promote the the thin people. And obesity is considered as a big problem mm -hmm. that we might fight against. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, and I, it seems that from the article that this problem may actually start as early as age five based upon what children start to eat and consume or drink at a very young at a very young age. So I thought I found that to be quite interesting. Let's take a look at these um, thoughts here. Do you agree with choose one and let's talk about one of these A, B, C, D, or E. Let's just talk about one of these. Which one would you like to talk about? Obesity is a serious problem because it west or the average rate of the life. Okay. Obesity should be labeled a disease like cancer or IDS. And that's uh, labeled, labeled. Yeah, and yes. This, and this I, is AIDS. Right. Obesity should be labeled a disease like cancer or AIDS, okay? I suppose it will be a good idea because uh, it must cost a lot for the humanity. Cancer is a serious problem, of course. It's a serious problem because so many people die from cancer. And it seems that in the future, we have more and more cancers who are which are declared. What is, this, what is this word that you're saying, the last word that you're saying? The last word that I say, mm -hmm. uh, that in the future, cancer will be more and more developed by, diff by people. I don't remember exactly the, the word I pronounced. Okay. Maybe you said declared, but I wasn't sure. Okay. Declare. Yes, declare. Yes, declare. De de it was declared. I'll go down. Reduce or increase? Increase. Okay. So it will... It will be declared, meaning that more people will be aware that there is cancer or there is a declaration that we acknowledge that we are overweight or there is an obese problem. So it will be much more, um, I can't think of the word myself that I would like to use, but I'm not sure that declared is the word that I would use. However, I'm hoping that cancer will be on the decline. All right, let's go on to D. Uh, obesity causes cancer. Yes, because in the article, they lead a study 
on a large scale. Large on a large scale. scale, large scale. Large scale which which learned us that uh, there was a link between obesity and cancer. I'm very concerned about my health. I wasn't very concerned about my wealth until now. <laughs> I had a good health, but since I had I went to the surgeon in June, mm -hmm. I'm a, a little bit more concerned about my health. Okay. As we all should be, the older we are getting, it would be a reason for concern because we become less active and the chances of reducing that weight, if we are really overweight, I think is less. All right, well, we won't do these today. Um, let me say just for a moment, uh, 